Hey there, Joystick News fans. Strap in because today we're diving deep into a gaming blast from the past that's made a surprising comeback on the Nintendo Switch. We're talking about none other than the iconic, or should I say, quirky icon of the early animation era, Felix the Cat. Now, before you raise an eyebrow wondering why this old timer is making headlines in the gaming world, let me take you on a journey that's part nostalgia, part modern marvel. The unexpected return of Felix the Cat. So Felix the Cat, that mischievous little character that predates basically. Well, most things we consider modern has clawed his way into the present. But it's not in the way you might expect. We're not just revisiting the classic cartoon antics of this feline, but diving into a gaming collection that's been brought to us by the combined efforts of Konami and Limited Run Games. This collection is a modest one, bundling the NES and Famicom games that were the blueprint for the Game Boy version I, and maybe a few of you remember from our childhoods. The NES gem unearthed. Alright, folks, let's cut to the chase and talk about the heart of this collection, Felix the Cat on the NES. This game, released in the twilight years of the NES era, is a testament to what developers could achieve with the hardware at the time. With enhanced chipsets and a deeper understanding of the system's capabilities, Hudson Soft brought us a game that, while not revolutionary, shines as a hidden gem in the NES library. Imagine a platformer that starts off simple enough, but quickly turns up the wacky dial. Within minutes, Felix goes from a mere cat to manning a tank. Yes, you heard that right, a tank. It's this level of absurd fun that makes the game stand out. The power-up system is as bizarre as it is delightful, transforming Felix in ways that only this character's surrealistic world could allow. The Game Boy port a step back. Now, before we get too carried away with the NES game's charm, let's talk about the Game Boy version included in the collection. To be blunt, it's a shadow of its NES counterpart. What was once a vibrant and engaging experience is somewhat lost in translation due to the Game Boy's limitations. It's a reminder of how far we've come in terms of gaming hardware and what developers had to contend with back in the day. Content and value, the big question. Here's the kicker though, as enjoyable as Felix the Cat on the NES is, the overall collection feels a bit light on content. We get three games and some basic features like save states and filters, but that's about it. There's a noticeable absence of extras, making it hard to justify the collection's price tag. It's a tough sell unless you're either a hardcore Felix fan or have some nostalgia-fueled curiosity. Final thoughts. So where does that leave us? Felix the Cat on the Switch is a mixed bag. On one hand, the NES game is a delightful dive into a bygone era of gaming, offering a unique experience that stands out even today. On the other hand, the collection as a whole feels lacking, especially considering the investment. My take. If you're a fan of retro gaming or have a soft spot for Felix, keep an eye out for a sale. The NES game alone is worth the trip down memory lane, but maybe not at full price. And with that, we wrap up today's dive into gaming's past. What do you think? Is Felix the Cat worth revisiting on your modern console, or is it best left to the memories? Drop your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming news and reviews. Until next time, keep those controllers charged and your curiosity piqued.